Hi and welcome to the session. I am Shashi and I am going to help you with the following question. Question says, a couple has two children. Find the probability that both children are males if it is known that one of the children is male. Second part is, find the probability that both children are females if it is known that elder child is a female. Let us now start with the solution. First of all, let us assume that event A denotes both children are male. And event B denotes that at least one child is male. Now we know couple has two children. So there are four possibilities that first child is male and second child is also male. Second possibility is First child is male and second child is female. Third possibility is first child is female and second child is male. And fourth possibility is both the children are female. Now clearly we can see probability that both children are male is equal to 1 upon 4. Or we can write probability of event A is equal to 1 upon 4. We know outcome favorable to event A is equal to 1 and total possible outcomes is equal to 4. So probability of event A is equal to 1 upon 4. Now probability that at least one child is male is equal to 3 upon 4 or we can write probability of event B is equal to 3 upon 4. Clearly we can see outcomes favorable to event B is equal to 3 and total possible outcomes is equal to 4. So probability of event B is equal to 3 upon 4. Now clearly we can see this outcome is favorable to both the events that is event A and event B. So we get probability of A intersection B is equal to 1 upon 4. Outcome favorable to A intersection B is equal to 1 only or we can say outcome favorable to events A and B is equal to 1 and total number of possible outcomes is equal to 4. So, probability of A intersection B is equal to 1 upon 4. Now, we have to find the probability that both children are males if it is known that at least one of the children is male. Or we can say, we have to find conditional probability of event A when event B has already occurred. Now we know that probability of event A when event B has already occurred is equal to probability of A intersection B upon probability of B where probability of B is not equal to 0. Now clearly we can see probability of event B is equal to 3 upon 4 and probability of A intersection B is equal to 1 upon 4. Now we will substitute these two values in this expression. So we get probability of event A when B has already occurred is equal to 1 upon 4 upon 3 upon 4. Simplifying further, we get 1 upon 4 multiplied by 4 upon 3 which is further equal to 1 upon 3. So, probability of event A 
when b has already occurred is equal to 1 upon 3. This completes the first part of the given question. Now let us start the second part. First of all, let us assume that event f denotes both the children are females. And even T denotes elder child is a female. Now probability that both the children are females is equal to 1 upon 4 or we can write probability of event f is equal to 1 upon 4. We know outcome favorable to event f is equal to 1 and total possible outcomes is equal to 4. So probability of event f is equal to 1 upon 4. Also probability that elder child is a female is equal to 2 upon 4 which is further equal to 1 upon 2 or we can write probability of event t is equal to 1 upon 2. Clearly we can see outcomes favorable to event t is equal to 2 and total possible outcomes is equal to 4. So probability that elder child is a female is equal to 2 upon 4 which is further equal to 1 upon 2 or we can simply write probability of event t is equal to 1 upon 2. We know event t denotes elder child is a female. Now clearly we can see this outcome is favorable to event f and event t. So probability of f intersection e is equal to 1 upon 4. We know outcome favorable to event F and event E is equal to 1 and total possible outcomes is equal to 4. So probability of F intersection E is equal to 1 upon 4. Now we have to find the probability that both children are females if it is known that the elder child is a female. Or we can say we have to find the probability of event F when event E has already occurred. Now we know probability of event F when event E has occurred is equal to probability of F intersection E upon probability of event E where probability of E is not equal to 0. Now we know probability of event E is equal to 1 upon 2 and probability of F intersection E is equal to 1 upon 4. Substituting these two values in right hand side of this expression, we get probability of event F when E has occurred is equal to 1 upon 4 upon 1 upon 2. Now this is further equal to 1 upon 4 multiplied by 2 upon 1. Now we will cancel common factor 2 from numerator and denominator both and we get probability of event f when e has occurred is equal to 1 upon 2. So this is our required answer for the second part of the given question. This is our final answer. This completes the session. Hope you understood the solution. Take care and have a nice day.